Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler The guests of the two will have to contend with are mustard, MI, chlorine, and phosgene. Well, that concludes my lecture on the various gases <laughs> that the uh, enemy is liable to use. Is anything worrying anybody? Permission to speak, sir. <laughs> what did he say, Sergeant? I couldn't quite catch it. What did he say? I said I couldn't quite catch it. I don't want to know what you said. I, I want to know what he said. Go and ask him. Right. The captain, uh, the captain would like to know what you said. What's that? <laughs> captain Manning would like to know what you said. I said permission to speak, sir. Oh, I see. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he wants uh, permission to speak, sir. Well, of course he's got permission to speak. Ask him what he wants to say. Oh, what is it? Uh, what do you want to say? Hey. What do you? <laughs> what do you want to say? I never heard a word he said. Oh, I see. <laughs> Uh, apparently, sir, he, he never heard a word that you said. I can't hear a word you say, Wilson. <laughs> Take that thing off. Uh, apparently, sir, he, he couldn't hear a word that you've been saying, apparently, sir. I see. You, you mean to say he never heard a word of my lecture? Apparently not, sir, no. Did none of you hear? <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> All right, take those respirators off. Put them away. We'll continue this lecture tomorrow. Now, I want to introduce you to a new weapon. Can anybody tell me what this is? Yes, sir. That's a grocer's cheese cutter. <laughs> that is correct, Corporal. A perfectly harmless cheese cutter. But applied properly, it can become a deadly weapon. Now, I'd just like to tell you the story of how I first got the idea for using this as a weapon. All right, just stand yeah. easy, everybody, would you please? What is that? <laughs> oh. It's a, an example of improvisation at its very best. The other day, I went along to the grocer's to get the rations for my wife and myself, and... Uh, uh, while the uh, grocer was cutting our meagre ration of cheese, I thought to myself, now, why, why do we get such a little piece? And as the wire went through the cheese and the cheese rolled off the cutting board onto the slab below, suddenly, in my mind's eye, it became the head of a Nazi stormtrooper. And I thought, that's it. Just the weapon to deal with enemy sentries. Creep up behind him, like this. Lob it over his head. Knee and small the back. And... Pull. <laughs> you all right, sir? Of course I'm all right. <laughs> Result? Instant decapitation. Doesn't know what's happened. Not till he nods his head. <laughs> what did you say, Walker? Yeah, I, I said he'd uh, be, be better off in bed, sir. He would indeed. <laughs> you see him? Round the head. Instant decap... <laughs> <laughs> yes, what is it, Pike? P -p Permission to be sick, sir. Permission to <laughs> Sergeant, sir, where are you going? That boy will have to be toughened up, you know. Can't be sick just because I mentioned decapitation. Well, I don't think it's that, sir. You see, it's just that he doesn't happen to like cheese very much. So. <laughs> now, pay attention, men. I've had a communique from GHQ to say that uh, there is not enough cooperation between the ARP and the Home Guard. We've all got to work together for the common cause. And uh, they've also told me that the new Chief Warden will be coming down shortly to discuss... Various methods of cooperation. By the way, who, who, who is the new chief warden? Oh, it's that rather common fellow, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Hodges, I think. You don't mean to say they've made him chief warden? Oh, yes, they have, yes, yes. He's a greengrocer. Uh, yes, I know, sir. I know, <laughs> I know that, sir, because of his uh, dirty fingernails. How do you know that? Well, I can see them, sir, when he shoves the, his takings through the grill. Uh, he keeps the wee shop next to mine, sir. Ever since he's been made chief warden, <laughs> there's been no hold on him. Yeah, I'm afraid he's been corrupted with power, sir. That's right, sir. It's a nasty bit of work, sir. You better put your foot firmly down on him. Otherwise, very shortly, he'll be taking over from you completely. Thank you, Corporal. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see him try, eh, Wilson? <laughs> yes, indeed, sir. Yes. Who's in charge? 
You know perfectly well who's in charge. Can't you read my insignia? No, oh, it's Mr. Mannering, the bank manager. It's Captain Mannering. And this is Sergeant Wilson. How do you do? As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you are still the bank manager and he is still the chief clerk. Can't forget his face. Every time I go into the bank, there'll be takings, he gives me a dirty look. <clears throat> Matches your nails. <laughs> what did he say? Never mind. Now, I've had instructions that you and I are supposed to cooperate. So I'll just tell you this once. I shall want that all every Wednesday evening for an ARP lecture. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite out of the question. What are you talking about? I have a parade there every Wednesday evening. Oh, well, that's your bad luck, mate. I have a long-standing arrangement with the vicar. What goes on between you and the vicar <laughs> is entirely <laughs> your affair. All I know is I want that all every Wednesday evening. Got it? You're absolutely right, Wilson. His fingernails are filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it beautifully, don't you think? Mm, there's no doubt about it. He's an artist. How can he make a little look so much? It's amazing. He's a wonderful man for his age. Here we are, ladies. Now then, who's first this morning? Ah, good morning, Mrs. Peters. Good morning, Mr. Jones. Now, what can I have? Well, you ain't got much in these, have you, Mrs. Peters? Are you sure you're looking at them properly? Well, I know my minces aren't too good, but I still see you only got a shilling's worth on each book. Oh, dear, is that all I've got? Well, you shouldn't have had that joint on Friday, should you? It's not my fault, Mr Jones. My husband will insist on his bit of brisket every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can let you have three little lamb chops. There you are. That's uh, one and eight. You'll have to have the rest in corned beef. There we are. That comes to two bob exactly. Hey, why, how's that? You got any sausages? Hold on. Yes, all right, all right, ladies, all right. Only one sausage with each book. Oh, Take two and four, please, Miss Mortimer. Good morning, Mrs. Fox. Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. I've got everything today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have, haven't you? <laughs> my word, you didn't have any meat over the weekend, did no, you? No, well, you see, my hubby and I went away. Yes, but you got your full ration here. You got two and tuppence on each book. Yes. There, now, what will it be? Well, uh, I would like a nice bit of steak. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bit of steak, eh? <laughs> nice bit of Veronica Lake, now, let me see. <laughs> there we are. Uh, there you are. That's three and four. Yes. You'll have to have the rest in corned beef, you know. Oh. There we are. That's four and four. Do you want your sausages? Oh, yes, both of them, please. Right. <laughs> there we are. Um, Mr Jones, have you got any kidney? No, I'm afraid not, Mrs Fox. Oh, you must have a little bit tucked away somewhere. No, not a bit, Mrs Fox, no. Oh, <laughs> oh well. I'll just have to make do with what I've got, won't yes, I? <laughs> well, bye-bye, Mr Jones. Bye -bye. Oh, by the way, um, I've bought that for you. Oh, what's this? Your favourite tobacco. Oh, thank you very much, madam. And I'll be in later in the week. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond, hurry up with the... Uh, hurry up with the brawn, will you, please? <laughs> yes. Now, ah, oh, hello. Take two and four, please. Right, take four and eight. There's more, that's right. Take four and eight for Miss... Four and eight. Good morning, Miss Meadows. Good morning, Mr Jones. Yes. <laughs> What's this? Just a little cake I made for your tea. Oh, you are naughty. You're using up all your points, aren't you? <laughs> you can have any points you want, you know, from me. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, you deserve looking after. After all, you do do your bit, you know. You take care of us. You take care of our insides as a butcher and our outsides as a home guard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Hurry up with the brawn, please, Raymond. <laughs> now, what is it to be, Miss Meadows? Oh, I'll take it all in corned beef. All in corned beef? Yes. Right, you know, there we are. <laughs> Would you like your sausage? Oh, yes, I'll have my sausage. Oh, Miss Meadows, I wish all my ladies were as easy as you. <laughs> Well, I do try to please, Mr Jones. Thank you so much. Take two and four, please, Miss Mortimer. No. It's a brawn, Mr Jones. Oh, it's a brawn. Oh, Mr Jones, I'll have some of that. Oh, 
Oh, you know that. Ladies and gentlemen, there's mine. only two ounces on each book. Oh, oh not, much, is not much meat in it, is there? Well, this isn't on coupons, you know. You can't look a gift horse in the mouth. What? Well, if it's horse, I don't want it. <laughs> it's not horse, it's pork. But you said it was horse. I didn't. I said you can't look a gift. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, ladies. Excuse no, me. No, 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 I calm down. You know me. I'm here on business. Yes, and we yeah. all know what your business is, don't you? <laughs> now, is that nice? Joe, what is it? Here, listen, I want to have a word with you, Jonesy, and it's urgent and private. Right, we'd better go in the cold room. Come on, take over, Raymond. Right, Mr. Jones. Who's first? Oh, no, 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 well, it's the only place you won't be overheard. Here, Jack, you know that delivery van of yours? You still got it? Yeah, it's in the backyard. Well, don't it go? Of course it goes, but I can't get the petrol, can I? Here, listen, I've got an idea. Why don't you loan it to Captain Mannering as platoon transport? Why? Well, you see, it's like this. Now, sometimes at night, I have to transport certain things, you see? Now... If I'm driving an ordinary van, I might get stopped. Now, on the other hand, if I'm driving official transport and I'm in uniform, I won't get stopped. Got it? Yeah, I got it all right. But what do I get out of it? <laughs> well, I thought that you might... Here, do you have to have this place so cold? Well, it's according to regulation, isn't it? Here, listen. If you let them have your van, <laughs> you see, they will have to, to, to give you the petrol coupons for it. Well, I thought you could get... <laughs> I hope you get a tour, all right? I can't get a Rubens. You can't get them anywhere. They're worth uh, ten, ten bob a piece. Listen, anything I make, I'll split 50 50 with you. All right? Hand me. I'll give you a real game. Don't give it to me. I'll give it to your old pal, Joe. All right. That's my Jonesy. <laughs> Absolutely first class. Splendid vehicle. This must be a very proud moment for you, Corporal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Due to your unselfishness, we now have our own troop transport. Yes. Now, listen, men. Corporal Jones and Private Walker have worked practically non-stop over these past three days to prepare this vehicle. And... Now, Corporal Jones is going to explain some of the results of their work. Yeah, before we start, sir, I am the official driver. Is that all right with you, Mr. Mannering? Yes, of course, Corporal. Thank yes. you, sir. Thank Do you think you. that's wise, sir? Well, we've got to let him drive it. It's his own van. Yes, I know it is, but, uh, Percy, sir, I'm, uh, I'm not too keen on the idea myself. You're never too keen on anything, are you, Sergeant? <laughs> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, all round the back, please. Right, on, now, if you two gentlemen step this way, I'll show you a few details. Right. Uh, keep well back so as the officer can see. Now, sir, it's an all purpose vehicle. First of all, it is an armoured <clears> car. <throat> note the sandbags, that makes it bulletproof. It is also an ambulance. Kindly note the racks for the stretchers. It is also a troop transport. You sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a bit cold sitting on those marble slabs. I don't do me any good, Captain Marion. They said at the clinic I should never sit on anything cold. My mum won't like me sitting right. on anything. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> now, what exactly is the purpose of these slabs, Corporal? Well, I've got these marbles down here, you see, on the floor, in case we run into a landmine, you see? It's protection from blast-up. <laughs> How do you say? I have to go back in the shop in the morning, sir. Oh. <laughs> Well, I think in that case, you know, it might be as well to dispense with the slabs until we have an actual invasion, eh? <laughs> now, what we have to do is to work out a drill so that the whole platoon can embark and disembark. I've already seen to that, sir. What? Yes, would you like me to show it to you? I can't wait to see it, Wilson. All right, now, the battle section, will you please uh, fall into one line, please? Do as you can. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> All right. All right, embark. Leave <laughs> hey, one, two, three, one. Let's fly, 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 let's fly,
moving down the road. Oh, well, Mr. Wilson, if the van is moving, then I should be driving. Yes, sir. of course you should. Of yes, course. Sir. Right. Off you go. I will be driving, sir. All right. You do that, sir. Should we put your measure at the door <laughs> shut too? Yes. Very uh, good. Yes, very good. Quick as you can, Godfrey. Quick as you can. All right, Jonesy. Yeah, right. Um, rum, rum, num, 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 num. Engine's going, sir. Num, 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 right, num, I'm off with that. <laughs> off you go. <laughs> num, 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 num. Now, sir. Now, sir, the men, are, the, as the men are inside, the vehicle is now moving. What? What Ready when you want to go, sir. All right, Jones. Right, all right, no, all right. No, no, no. Yes, I remember. Right, right, the, the men are inside, and the vehicle is moving down the road. So I gather. Right. Yes, right. right. Enemy on the left. Range 100 yards. Five rounds. Rapid fire. <laughs> Right, enemy on the right, range 150 yards, five rounds, rapid fire. Enemy dive bomber overhead, five rounds, rapid fire. Now, what did you think of that? You never cease to amaze me with... <laughs> well, she said, I am, really am rather keen. In fact, I'm as keen as you are. It's just that I have this sort of, uh, I don't know, sort of difficulty in showing it. Yes, I, I understand well. Yeah. What's, that, uh, what's that peculiar noise? Oh, I think it's Jones, so he gets rather excited, you know, sometimes. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jones, you can stop now. Jones! Call me Jones! Yes, sir. You can stop now. Oh, yes. We're here. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What's going on there? I've never heard such a row. It's Wednesday night, you know, and I'm trying to give a lecture in there. Well, nobody's stopping you. How can I make myself heard with you lot shouting bang, bang, bang all over the place? What are you doing, playing cowboys and Indians? We are testing our ambulance troop carrier. This is an ambulance? Well, of course it is. What else? Looks to me very much like a butcher's van. When does the horse arrive? I can assure you that as an ambulance, this works extremely well indeed. Oh, well, it's your lucky day then, mate. How do you mean? Well, it so happens that next Saturday, we're having a large-scale air raid practice and we need all the extra available transport we can lay our hands on. <laughs> so report with your ambulance and six men to act as stretcher bearers at two o'clock next Saturday afternoon to Percy Street. I presume you mean at 1,400 hours? Yes, 1,400 hours. <laughs> well done, sir. You got it right. Thank you, Wilson. Soon show him how efficient we are. Uh, excuse me, sir, but about the petrol coupon, sir, uh, I mean, it's going to use up a fair bit of juice, you know. Uh, I'm very glad you mentioned that, Walker, because we're going to convert it into gas. Yeah. <laughs> gas? <laughs> yes. I telephoned GHQ and explained to, uh, to them uh, all about it, and they say that in order to save petrol, we should take it down to the RASC transport pool, and they will convert it into gas. So you can take it round right, right away. Uh, and have it back here in time for the air raid practice on Saturday. All right? Carry on, please. I've got a good idea, he says. Lend the van to the platoon and we'll get some free petrol coupons, he says. Yeah, well, it's not my fault, is it? I mean, I'm not a clairvoyant, am I? I mean, look at my van. Look what they've done to it. And what's this flipping great thing? Well, that takes the gas down to the engine. Wherever I look, there's a great sagging bag. <laughs> Can't you take your mind off women for a moment, mate? <laughs> yeah, look, what's this flipping? What do you want to keep your bayonet on here for? Well, you never know when we might need it, Joe. You never know when we might need it, Joe, flipping thing. <laughs> Get your bayonet balmy, you are, mate. Honestly, you're not going to meet any fuzzy wuzzies out here, you know. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> I don't know. I feel sort of light-headed. <laughs> That's nothing new, is it? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I dreamt I held in marble halls With a little art oil and a feather 
And when I awoke, I found it no joke. He was tanning my... Hey, get out of here. Hi, rah, rah, rah. Oh, what a funny little man you are with your little moustache and your hair all blah. Hi, little rah, rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got like Jonesy. Thanks, mate. A long way from home. Oh, you're not fighting here, isn't it? <laughs> what up? Blowing the van's on fire. Yeah, stop the van. Look out! There's a great big hole in it. It's all escaping. Do something, Joe. Do what, something. What, what, what? What do you want that little Belgian boy did in Brussels? <laughs> I can't do that in here. Not that. Put your finger in the hole, quick. The hole? Go on. Cool. That's a Dutch boy, you silly old duffer. <laughs> Where have you been? Well, we had a spot of trouble. Where is everybody? Oh, Cut Manning's gone. Oh, couldn't have waited any longer. He's gone out to Paris Street with the rest of the party. He left me here to tell you. Follow on as soon as possible. Yeah, hey, Jonesy, how long have I got to stick with my finger stuck in his hole? Until <laughs> the exercise is over. That gas bag looks a wee bit empty to me. Blimey, Joe, we're not flew with some gas. Don't you take your finger out that hole. Remember that little Belgian boy? Dutch boy, you silly old mole. There's no call for you to be nasty. Here, what we're going to do? We've run out of a lot of gas there, you know. Oh, wait a minute, Jonesy. Uh, I've got an idea. Why don't we take some gas from the Vicar's gas fires? How are you going to do that? You'll see. Wait a minute. Captain Manning, do his nut this wheel late again. It's all your fault, Joe. Yeah, my fault? My fault? I like that. If it hadn't been for your flipping burn, it, none of this would ever have happened. Oh, Here don't you talk Jonesy. so silly. All right. <laughs> Connect that up and yeah, all right. I'll turn on the fire. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> yeah. Good old jock. What we English should do without the brains of the Scots, eh? Ah. Go on. Turn right. it on. Right on. <laughs> May I ask what you're doing here? <laughs> Me? I'm looking out of the window, sir. Well, well, why have you got that hose attached to my gas fire? Ah, well, you see, it's like this. Aye. <laughs> you see your big gas bag yonder? Yes. Well, uh, we didn't know what to do with it, so we thought it would just fill up your gas fire. Ah, oh, most, most charitable, I... my friend. <laughs> most charitable. <laughs> well, up. <laughs> when, when, when will you lay? Right, stand well back. There's nothing to see now. Come on, stand back. Really, this is most embarrassing. Where's Jones with that van? Perhaps he's run out of petrol, sir. It's been converted to gas. What? Oh, yes, of course it has, yes. Mr. Yes. Marion, when are they going to get here with that ambulance? Be here any moment. I should hope so. If this is a sample of your efficiency, I don't think much of it. But, now, come on, stand back, I told yeah. you. I've told you before. Arthur, now, come on, stand I've back. been looking everywhere for you. You forgot to give me the housekeeping money. Oh, now, Mavis, please, not now, not now. Can't you see we're busy? I can't help that. I've got to do the shopping. Yeah. Right, you, come on, lie down on the pavement beside that old man. Certainly not. <laughs> You're one of the casualties, aren't you? No, I'm not. No, well, get out of the way with the others, then. Come on. Just a minute, just a minute. This lady's not going to lie back anywhere until, until she finished talking to me. Now, now uh, do you understand that? Well done, Wilson. All right, thank you, sir, very much. Now, look here, uh, Mavis, do you, think, uh, do you think two pounds would be enough? Yes, right, of then. course. Right. You know he's a wonderful man, Mr. Manor. Yes, all right, Mavis. Oh, I've never seen just chaos. That's a chaos. Here it is now. Here they come. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, it's about time, too. Whoa! Right. Come on. Get him on the stretcher and get the stretcher in the ambulance. I'm going down to the next street, see how they're getting on. Very good. I'm sorry, Mr. Manning. I'm sorry, sir. We had a spot of trouble. Nothing to the trouble we've had here. Godfrey, Pike, get this man onto the stretcher. Yes, sir. Right, Quickly as you can, and then take it round to the back of the van. Yes. Hold on now. Right. right. Left. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Godfrey. Come on, pick it up. You don't know this old man. He's not so old as I am, sir. Oh, Fraser, take it over. Out of the way, Grandpa. <laughs> right, come on. Round the back of the back. Round the back. Round the back. Right, open the door, Scott. I can't say it's locked. Well, who's locked it? I did, sir. What on earth for? Well, I didn't want anyone pinching my marbles, you see, sir. <laughs> no, I'm not going to I haven't got the key, sir. 
Oh, for heaven's sake, there's no end to this. Where, where is the key? It's back to the shop, sir. Well, go and get it at once. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, Jones. Yes, sir. Take that bike. Yes, right. Uh, uh, may I make a suggestion, sir? Yes. Uh, there's a wee door behind the driver's seat. We will not get him in maybe through there, eh? Make it right here, yes. Pick him up. Give right. a handle. Yes, all right. All right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, yes, right. Then it. Right. 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 Keep right. the same round. Keep the same round. Mike, Mike, be careful. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. You don't need to right. But up your end, Mr. Faison. Here he is. I'll put him through there. Put him through the window. Let's go right. Come on. Right. Right. That's it. Bend his legs. Oh, yeah. Bend his legs. Yeah. Yeah. Did you tell one of your blokes to take my bike? Yes, I did. What about it? You can't go around taking private property. Look here, this is an emergency. I'm a captain in the home guard. Bend them round. They won't bend, bend that way. Get go away, will you? No, I will not. Hey, what are you doing to that poor old man? We all need to see that first. Good idea. Get the seat out first. Get out of the seat. Get out of the seat. We can't do it. Yes, well, we can't get him. You want to start that now, Jerry? Get him! 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 Get Dear, oh dear, you ready, driver? Oh, yeah, right. right. I'll give you the signal when we're ready. Two bangs. Boom, boom. Listen, when you're ready, uh, yeah. give me the signal. Oh, yeah. Two bangs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you ready? Yep. Right. Are they? Right. Yeah. Right. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Right. Right. It sounded like a signal. You old fool, this is a signal. <laughs> I walked at a flipping hospital. 